The Atlantic seaboard extends all the way from the lighthouse at Muli Point to the dramatic witch's finger of cliff and rock, jutting finally into the ocean at Cape Point. The Atlantic seaboard is balanced on the sea's edge and because it is protected from the prevailing southeast wind by the Table Mountain Range, it is a popular summer destination. Setting out from the northern extremity at Muli Point, the road hugs the coastline around Three Anchor Bay, past Sea Point and Bantry Bay, to Clifton's four world-famous beaches. Traveling along this piece of coastline, it is easy to see why it is informally dubbed the Platinum Mile. Record-breaking prices are paid for properties in these areas. The sunsets and the sun worshippers lounging on the famous white beaches are certainly unforgettable. Camps Bay is one of Cape Town's most popular beaches. Famous too for the veritable orgy of restaurants, cocktail bars and coffee spots, this strip is popular with both locals and visitors. Our southerly journey continues down into picturesque Hout Bay. So named in the 1650s as the wood needed for development was shipped to the newly established Cape Colony via this narrow port. Today, the fishing harbour is a popular tourist attraction, as are the boat trips to Seal Island and beyond. Chapman's Peak Drive from Hout Bay to Nortuk Beach is undoubtedly one of the most breathtakingly beautiful marine drives in the world. The road has over 100 curves and is so narrow that tour buses are permitted to travel in a southerly direction only. Further on, Nortuk Beach is over 6 kilometers long and popular with horse riders and kite surfers alike. The last leg of the journey south takes you to the protected areas of the Table Mountain National Park through the Cape of Good Hope entrance. You may not actually be at the southernmost tip of Africa, but it will certainly feel like it.